Big round of applause for Sean, Sean Nelson. Kodinsky. Hello. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, but that seems to be just like this, this crazy impossibility. Have you ever had somebody ask you, well, how would you describe yourself? There's a million ways you can do it. Well, I'm the mustachio bald guy. That, that's a good way. With the little Lennon glasses. That's pretty cool. Maybe you can say, you know, most people are like, well, you know, what I meant is, what do you do? Or, you know, what are your hobbies? Or some, you know, the poetic types that uh, populate art for here might say, what inspires you? What is the art? But when somebody asks who you are, I kind of take it as a deeper question, and I have a really hard time with this. I don't know who I am. I've actually talked about this in other, other speeches that I've given. But it's weird. I know that I have a core. It was one of the things that drove me fucking nuts when I was in my teens and my 20s, was people would be like, don't change, don't change, you're so nice, you're so nice. But as a, a single guy who could never get a girlfriend, it was always maddening. They're like, don't change. But obviously, if I don't change, nothing, will, nothing else will happen. I know that the who I am at this time doesn't do something right. So how can I both not change and be someone different? And at the time, it was very perplexing. But as I got older, I started figuring out other things. Like the core, you that is you, that's not likely to change. The person you are inside, just the general attitude you have in life towards people, towards stresses, the, the ambitions you have, the dreams you have, those things don't change. change those things don't tend to change, but the things, the outward expression of them can. You can learn to do things, you can learn to express, you can learn poetry, you can learn a different language, you can learn to dance, you can learn to cook, you can learn all of these different things. And all of them feed back into who you are. And what you exercise makes you better, makes you a different person. If all you do is exercise, your work skills becomes better at focusing, doing your job well, that's going to reflect in your personality. It's going to change who you are to some small degree. But the core you is still there. And this, this is really difficult for me. I have the shittiest memory of a human being who is not senile. Just, <laughs> just it's, appalling. It's, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> and this really shaped my whole attitude in life. I have gone, uh, I go dancing. I like to dance. And on, uh, on the nights when I go dancing, Every now and then I'll run into somebody that I have danced with literally every week for two years and I won't remember their name. And that is just super rude. And I will go through the most convoluted gymnastics to avoid having to admit that I don't know their names. Because it's really that bad. Or I've forgotten entire parts of my life. That's funny. That's true. And it's, it becomes scary. Alzheimer's runs in my family and I wonder how much of it is actually just me having bad memory? How much of it is just narcissism that I just maybe don't care about people enough so I don't remember their fucking names? Or, you know, what if it's something else? When I think of myself, I picture a little core, maybe a little star, and around that star are little pictures, like you put in an album, a photo album. And I remember some of the places I've been. I was standing outside of Castle du Schwanstein in Germany in the middle of winter, and there was a coat of maybe four inches of snow on every tree as far as you could see. And du Schwanstein looked like something out of a Disney film. I remember standing in the desert, driving in an old beat-up pickup truck over miles and miles of rough ground that looked as though it had never seen a drop of rain in its entire life. And we waded to a valley called Paradise Valley, and that one little valley in the middle of this giant fucking barren desert was filled with yellow flowers as high as I was. Just millions of them, up and down both sides. I remember being in the middle of the ocean, nothing, 
for as far as I can see, a desert of wet. And I loved it there. I love the desert. I love the mountains. I love all of these places that I have been. But does that make me? Is that who I am? Am I just a little star shining through memories like still shots from a movie? I know I write poetry. I know I sing songs. Does that make me somebody? Is that who I am? I'm obviously a performer because I'm standing here in front of you and it doesn't bother me. I love it. I feel the energy from you. I don't give it back if I can. Does that make me? Does that define me? I don't know who I am because I don't think that I have finished finding out who I am. It always bugs me when somebody comes up and introduces themselves as somebody who was born again because it makes it feel like it will only happen once in their life. And from my own experiences, I know that happens again and again and again and again. And to close yourself off to that by saying, I have completed this, seems blasphemy to me. So, my name is Robert Kaninsky. I have no idea who I am. I know what I've done. I have some ideas of things that I've enjoyed. And I keep looking, hoping to discover who I am. Thank you.